If you're watching this and you're wondering, gee Mikey, how did you manage to see Ted before it comes out on the 1st of August in the UK and Ireland? You don't use the internet much, do you? Anyway, enough hurling abusive people, let's crack on with this review. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not... Why well, yes, I did shamelessly rip off that introduction from internet reviewer Diamanda Hagen and let's pray for my sakes that she never sees this because she's liable to rip my head off and shit down my neck. Anyway, Ted is the debut feature film from creator of American Dad, Family Guy and The Cleveland Show. So what happens in his debut feature film? John makes a Christmas miracle happen by bringing his one and only friend to life, his teddy bear. The two grow up together and John then must choose to stay with his girlfriend or keep his friendship with his crude and extremely inappropriate teddy bear Ted. Going into this movie I didn't expect a lot. I thought the trailers for this were crude and not that kind of funny crude, just crude for the sake of being crude. Also, matters weren't helped by this. When you hear the sound of thunder, don't you get too scared. Just grab your thunder buddy and say these magic words. Fuck you, thunder. You can suck my dick. You can't get me thunder because you're just God's fat. However, in context, the thunder song is extremely funny. Speaking of the trailer, I'm really glad that they didn't give away all the funny bits in this movie. Something that trailers have been extremely guilty of in the past. Oh, and for once I actually enjoyed a Mark Wahlberg movie. You know, the guy who sung this. My favourite performance in this movie comes in the shape of Mila Kunis as Laurie, John's long-suffering girlfriend. In the past, I found Mila Kunis to be quite shrill and annoying when she does comedy. Thankfully, in this movie, she dials it back to come up with a strong, likeable female character who just wants her boyfriend to grow the fuck up. However, if I am going to complain about this movie, my one complaint is that it falls into the typical McFarlane trap of having jokes running on far too long. I met a girl. She's a cashier. No way, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you know, well, what's her name? White trash name, yes. Mandy. Nope. Marilyn. Nope. Brittany. Nope. Tiffany. Nope. Candace. All I'm right, speed round. Serious. I'm gonna rattle off some names and when I hit you, it, buzz it, okay? I will tell you. You got me? Yeah. All right, Brandy, Heather, Channing, Brianna, Amber, Sabrina, Melody, Dakota, Sierra, Bambi, Crystal, Samantha, Autumn, Ruby. We get it. Redneck names sound goofy. Knock it the fuck off already. However, Unlike new episodes of Family Guy, the instances of jokes being stretched out far too long to the point of them being really ridiculously unfunny are few and far between. Also, I have to say that the character of Ted is some of the best CGI I've ever seen. Wasn't that some of the best human CGI interaction you've ever seen in your goddamn life? I certainly think so. I just want to wrap this video up by saying, while Ted can be crude at times, there's an underlying sweetness and heart to this movie that I really wasn't expecting. Was this the funniest movie of all time? Did it revolutionise comedy? No, it didn't, but it was a fine way to pass an hour and 40 minutes, and that's good enough for me. So, I said all I wanted to say about Ted, so I'm going to shut my big fat fucking mouth and give this a score. Thank <laughs> you.